Um, I'm used to, uh, to, to, to that I usually begin with uh, uh, what is what I meant by Croatia in the 19th century, the country which is usually identified with a beautiful coast and good soccer team that yesterday lost second time from Turkey <laughs> and complicated things in, in, uh, in, 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 uh, in championship. So uh, Croatia was a medieval kingdom and out of this kingdom, uh, and this kingdom at the beginning of 12th century was associated with the kingdom of Hungary. Because of that, it uh, gained a special status in the kingdom of Hungary that is autonomy, that was unchallenged through the centuries, and that in 19th century uh, was uh, remained in, uh, in the rest of the territory of former kingdom of Croatia, that is Croatia Slavonia. Um, which is about to be this area here in, at the map of Europe, or in the Austrian-Hungarian monarchy, this part, of, um, this part of the territory that was associated with much stronger and much more powerful uh, Hungary. Uh, because of uh, such status, Croatia had for centuries its own autonomous institutions that were uh, of, out of which especially important was the Ban appointed by the king. The Ban was kind of, well, a uh, governor, but we do not tend to identify with governor because he, had, because he was so much politically associated with Croatian identity that uh, depending upon personalities, he sometimes uh, quarreled, with, uh, quarreled with central authorities in Budapest, uh, that is Hungarian government. Um, a part of that, Croatia had its own diet, historical traditional diet from the medieval time, that was also see, seen as incarnation of Croatian autonomy. That is, it had its own electoral law and its own elections uh, through the centuries. A part of that, under the Croatian-Hungarian compromise, a sub-dual compromise that followed Austrian-Hungarian compromise of 1868, Croatia had its um, um, up to 40 representatives in the central parliament in Budapest out of more than 400 representatives so they were not very, they had special rights there, but they were not very influential in this central parliament. So this is the sketch of the Croatian political system. Uh, now, how it, how it functioned in the 19th century. It functioned as authoritarian, on the authoritarian ground, because of the power invested in the Bond's head, head, uh, hands. Bond, Bond was the most powerful figure in Croatian political uh, system. Uh, he was, as I said, representative of the king, backed by the uh, Hungarian central government, and depending upon personality, acting in the name of central interest or opposing central interest in the name of national, Croatian national interest. Uh, a part of that, the whole system was, um, was marked with unrestric unrestricted king's competences. Well, emperor for the Austria, king for Croatia and Hungary. Uh, competences in appointment of government and control of legislation. That is, the king had absolute veto and he had the power of dissolution of the diet. So no real parliamentarism, neither in Austria nor in Hungary and especially not in Croatia. Um, a part of that, the central government from Budapest enjoyed some uh, um, instrument to control autonomous legislation in Zagreb. Some of them were direct, direct but some of them were hidden, more political than legal, but uh, efficient uh, uh, as well. So this is approximately the uh, sketch of the Croatian political, of the broader political system with central government, central parliament, Croatian Slavonian diet, and Croatian, uh, and Croatian government with the ban at its uh, head. Too complicated to explain now, so we'll move for, forward on. Um, what about, uh, now, uh, this, um, uh, such position of Croatia um, and such attitudes in, in nation building 19th century uh, caused the main, uh, the main issues, the main questions in pol Croatian political life. The main questions were by no means, mother of all questions, was the autonomy. That is, gaining of individuality as much as is possible, opposing to central government uh, as much as is possible, depending upon, upon government, and, uh, uh, and if possible, unification with, uh, with Croatian historical territories. That is primarily Dalmatia and a few pieces here up, 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 here, up there. Um, 
so this was this was the principal the principal uh, topic of all political uh, of all political debates. A part of that, 19th century was the century in backward uh, Croatia of century of uh, uh, the imperative was modernization. So um, uh, secondary to uh, autonomy, the main issue was the reforming of organizational power, especially county system, county system that was traditional, and independence of uh, judiciary. A part of that, there was also the question of uh, role of individual and introdu introduction of civic rights, out of which special importance was given to the freedom of the press as the best way to communicate with all its own electoral basis. Only then comes the question of elections, of electoral, uh, electoral rights, and especially of general franchise that was not, that was hardly present um, at all. Um, so this menu sounds rather liberal. Parties that were, uh, that were the main party that, that, that can be seen as the main party was three traditional parties, unionist party that, that favored the union with Hungary under certain conditions, uh, national liberal party that was uh, more nationally oriented, and party of creation right that was kind of nationalistic uh, party. Uh, they all declared itself as liberal. They all understood themselves as liberal parties uh, with liberal menu, especially concentrating in regard to modernization. Uh, a part of a party of creation right that also regarded itself as democratic and pleaded for extension of electoral rights even up to uh, general franchise with some preconditions. Uh, two of these parties were considered, we can consider them as elitistic party. That, were, that means that were run by, um, um, uh, by the central, by the most prominent fig figures at the center, usually, usually rounded up around the uh, newspapers, um, and uh, giving, um, uh, giving a stress, giving accent to, to the uh, to this, um, uh, uh, to the party programs and party actions, party of creation right was more oriented to it was popular party and it was more and more oriented toward mass presentations. Um, the, it was widespread. It had organization not so concentrated in the center but also in the in the periphery, and by that by and large it was it tended to be democratic. A part of that, new parties were important. There were more of them. Croatian Social Democratic Party, non-influential, uh, 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 so, uh, established in uh, uh, 1894. This was, of course, a popular party, democratic, and would make program of general franchise. Croatian Peasant Party, that was mass party, and also pleaded for general franchise. And Croatians, uh, very efficient Croatian Serbian coalition, a cluster of smaller parties in 1905, that was popular and that considered itself as democratic and liberal as well. Uh, now about the, uh, the uh, electoral system in Croatia. Um, the, uh, I'm not going to explain it all in details. I just want to show how the dy dynamic in uh, electoral reforms were going on. The first electoral law was that one of 1848. It was very um, rudimentary. But it was, in a, in a way, um, a mother of all, almost all uh, laws after that. It, um, it gave the outlook to the creation, um, creation um, uh, electoral system. Well, uh, that system was, um, Croatia, the creation diet was single chamber diet with two categories of members, deputies and vitalists, the noble that, uh, that entered the diet directly without any elections, of course. Those that were elected, that is the deputies, were elected in two ways, indirect elections that existed all the way up till 1910. Um, that were, that was, these indirect election, elections were uh, executed in villages, not in the cities, um, in where, where electors gathered together in villages, then uh, uh, they, then they uh, elected one um, uh, voter for uh, each of 500 inhabitants or one for 50 electors, 
uh, uh, those, uh, those primary electors. Uh, and then those who were, uh, who were uh, um, elected gained together in districts, and then they chose one deputy who was going then to the, to the die. Direct elections were mostly reserved for the towns, for the cities, uh, with educated people uh, who voted those um, representatives <coughs> directly and in several reforms in counties, um, but under the condition of very high censuses. So obvious tendency was to exclude poor, uneducated, and uh, uh, the people that could be, uh, uh, that were usually uh, uh, called mob. Uh, the um, the, uh, uh, the, the, the system of voting was oral and public, well, until 1980, I, I forgot to mention it here, but we'll see it later on. And restricted electoral, electoral franchise uh, was valid till 1918, when, when general franchise was introduced. Political class was consisted mostly of lawyers, this because of the tradition of autonomy, because those inst institutions needed uh, lawyers to operate it, and because of tradition of legal uh, education. So no merchants, uh, um, um, uh, no craftsmen, and so on. Uh, franchise uh, was based on property censuses, education, and profession. That stood for all reforms that went on up after, afterwards. Uh, eligibility was uh, uh, reserved for citizens, in cities, for citizens of the city, so each citizen of the city could be, uh, was eligible to, uh, to go to the dive. On the, also under the condition of literacy and in counties with a, set of, with a set of censuses that granted that no uneducated person and somebody from um, this mass uh, of population could be, uh, could be elected. Uh, a, brief, um, a brief review of these reforms would point up to, the, as I said, um, uh, the law of 1940, uh, 1848, which also uh, had a quite peculiar, <laughs> uh, quite peculiar condition of religion. It was reserved in just in 1848, it was sharply criticized afterward, for Catholics and Orthodox. Uh, the explanation is that it was the law um, uh, brought in, accept, in, enacted after conflict with uh, Croatian conflict with Hungary, when they wanted to exclude Protestants and Jews who were supporting a Hungarian revolution. So they actually they didn't want Protestants and Jews to vote, and that's why they were the, 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 the voting right was reserved only for Catholic and Orthodox. Later on, it was sharply criticized as conservative, and <laughs> of course, it never it, it had never appeared uh, afterwards. Um, the, the next several uh, law, uh, laws on uh, electoral laws were in fact always ad hoc laws, so not real laws, until 1870 when finally um, Croatian government in, um, uh, proposed the law accepted by the Croatian Diet, and that law was quite strict one. It, um, it provided for uh, efficient control of, by government of the laws of, uh, of, of uh, uh, elections and also enabled gerrymandering uh, by the government because the, uh, uh, the, the electoral districts were not fixed, but for every, uh, for every elections, uh, the government would propose how to organize these districts. Of course, the government had extreme influence in shaping the uh, shaping the laws. A part of that, uh, it's quite peculiar. This first law of 1848 provided for a very moderate, very simple, in fact, uh, property censuses, and it was uh, the approximation is that it covered uh, more than eight percent of um, of population. This law was more strict. Uh, it lowered down uh, the, pub the, the, the number of people included in the electoral system, probably up to six, uh, six percent. Um, this law was, well, uh, we will deal uh, in a kind of case study with the law of 1875, that I will explain more about it. 
that uh, brought some changes to this law. It softened it in a way, but not too much, not too much. Um, and then this law was, this uh, softened law from 1875 was again restricted in 1887. Uh, important thing is that all these governments that dealt with these laws, with these conditions, declared themselves as liberals. Um, Finally, or b finally in 1910, um, the, as we said, the indirect elections were um, abolished, um, and the uh, reform of the censuses by the Croatian Serbian coalition, that is, Democratic and Liberal Party, um, uh, resulted with increase of uh, persons included in the electoral system, probably up to eight, probably about eight percent, only eight percent percent. And at the end, uh, the law of 1918 that, was, that came simply too late and was not executed in practice, never, uh, introduced general franchise and secret voting, but on the other way, but on the other ground, uh, 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 reduced some other uh, possibilities in uh, participating in elections. Um, if we match, uh, if, uh, well, the explanation for such rigid, uh, we'll deal with that later on, with such, with such rigid, rigid attitude of uh, Croatian liberals lays in the social structure. Croatia had, um, but it also explained how, uh, uh, um, how small a uh, 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 number of people was included. Uh, in 1819, uh, uh, cities provided only 7% of populations. Uh, in counties, that is, in villages, there was more than 90% of population. There was only 26% of them who were literate, and only 70% and 70 illiterate. Um, increased um, increased uh, um, urbanization brought up, uh, jumped to 21% of uh, uh, population in cities in only 20 years after. And increase of and the reform in uh, education system uh, increase of uh, literary people into 65 percent, but you this this uh, helped to understand how small uh, how small a number of people of persons included uh, in electoral system there was. So back to um, back to um, back to our topic. Um, uh, instead of uh, discussing in details all these changes, uh, I chose uh, to, to, do with, um, to deal with two case studies. One is electoral reforms of 1875 confronted with that of 1887. Um, and that reform in, of 1875 was prepared by the Ban and the government of national liberals. Both the Ban and all members <coughs> of government happened to be uh, members of National Liberal Party, and they were hardly uh, introducing liberal reforms. Uh, it was the most intensive period of period of modernization in Croatian history till 1918. Um, their goal was not just uh, introducing modern reforms, but also kind of strengthening autonomy and kind of nation building. So the importance. So it was not important just to um, to do. Uh, to introduce modern, modern, uh, modern institutions, but to provide Croatia with modern institutions that will strengthen it on its autonomy in the, in, the, um, in the framework of possible, of possibility, and to, in a way, build up uh, as much as it's possible as a kind of uh, nation building. Um, because of that, it's, not, uh, it, it's quite understandable that the focus was organizational power, um, standardization, education, and enlightenment. Uh, uh, the reforms in, edu in regard to education, uh, primary schools especially. Um, but one would expect that uh, such attitude would go, uh, go to look for inclusion for as much as more per population inside that system. Because when you are making a nation, you want to make as much as citizens as, as is possible. Uh, uh, that's, that's very logical. But it did not happen. They introduced the law on local citizenship, which they even called a real citizenship, which was not completely true. It's, a, it's, it's Austrian-German institutional Heimatdienst. 
uh, but refused to do um, radical uh, steps in electoral reform. Uh, well, in fact, the government did not provide for electoral reform of that unpopular law of 1870 at all, uh, but it came, the initiative came from the deputies. Uh, deputies had very bid, bad experiences with the law, electoral law of 1870, and they didn't want to, those things to be repeated again. So they proposed in the laws that, that they proposed, fixation of electoral district by law, that is uh, something against gerrymandering by the government, and loosening of government's control of elections in electoral committees and in appeal uh, jurisdiction. Um, this was more or less accepted by the, by the government, by the local Croatian government. Um, 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 well, the deputies also proposed extension of voting right in regard to direct elections to all university graduates and not just medicine and law as, to, up, to, as up to that time, chaplains, teachers, and so on. So it was a very moderate social reform in regard to social scope of it. Um, it, it did not provide any extension of uh, social basis. And it was sharply criticized by left liberals, uh, democratic liberals, saying that this is not enough, that, that there should be more, uh, that the um, uh, electoral uh, uh, voting rights should be extended to more, to new categories of um, population instead of this very cosmetic, moderate uh, extension. Um, well, the only amendment in this regard that was accepted was the extension, additional extension of franchise to bank clerks under condition of 15 florins of census, which was almost nothing uh, in regard to social ba basis. Uh, what was rejected, the amendment, the important amendment that was rejected in a very bitter debate was lowering census from 30 to 15 florins for owners of immobilities in villages. Well, the, uh, the explanation for this was, uh, argumentation for this was that uh, this, uh, uh, this will uh, compensate uh, loosening of this, uh, um, oh, yeah, so opposite to what I expected, uh, of, social, uh, of uh, social ground in, uh, in counties. Um, um, and even if this does, this does not happen, it will not produce a significant political, uh, significant, uh, significant change of political attitude because they, they, uh, the proponents say uh, even uh, if we include these new categories, it will not mean uh, they are so conservative that they will not change the, the attitude of the political system. So basically, their, uh, their, uh, uh, their proposal was very conservative in effect. Still, it was rejected in a very bitter discussion which uh, sh indicated very conservative uh, attitude of Croatian liberals. The, propo the, the, pro uh, the proposal for general franchise was uh, rejected uh, almost uh, 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 in consensus. And there was also one individual amendment uh, that mentioned uh, women's right, uh, women's suffrage. And uh, what happened with this law, it was changed uh, again in 1887 by Kuhn Hedervari, who was a member of Hungarian Liberal Party, uh, by uh, even strengthening, by even more restrictions of the, um, of the um, uh, electoral law. And just a few words about women's suffrage. Uh, which appeared in a local, uh, in a town law or regarding local, um, um, local elections uh, as a kind of opposition from parliamentary majority against government tendency to centralize, to control the, the, uh, the town council um, because uh, these opposition, majority, <laughs> it was not op opposition, it was majority of, uh, uh, in the diet, um, wanted uh, they opposed the, the government's proposal by uh, uh, tendency to include as much as is possible uh, a person in the, um, in the voting system of the cities. And because of that, they proposed that even women can vote. 
under the same condition as men, on the, uh, with the uh, argumentation that women are owners of immobility, trades and commerce, and they pay high taxes as, as far uh, uh, the same way that men do. So they are, should be entitled to vote. And this was accepted. Again, in 1886, by the, by the same liberal bank, Karl Kuhn Hederwali, this was, well, with his, uh, with, on his proposal, this was um, uh, erased. So it was women's suffrage in local, uh, uh, local elections uh, was uh, present for only five years. This all leads to, to the conclusion of authoritarian authority, performance of the Croatian political system in constitutional framework. Uh, of liberal parties as proponent or even actors of authoritarian po policy, and liberal with the ground in liberal elitism that rejected any uh, the ideas of democratization based on the elitistic concept of modernization of backward country. They were, uh, well, uh, that would lead to a less controllable political system that they want to run by themselves. This was also backed by the central government that did not want the social basis of autonomy to be extended. And that poses at the end the question of the, uh, was, that, was it really a concept of modernization or uh, in the backward society or defense of own interest of liberals? That is it. That it is my, my paper. Yes. Thank you.